Hello, today I'm going to be installing the Otter X ROM twerp and bootloader from Hashcode, um, posted on XDA Developers. Um, this is a, a new project by Hashcode um, that is uh, going to make it more like a Nexus device. Um, there's going to be four main steps. Uh, we're going to install the bootloader, install the new twerp, uh, and um, change the partition layout, and then we've got to wipe the partitions and then um, step five is installing the the ROM and and gaps okay so we're gonna go to the um, bootloader um, post and um, gonna download um, bootloader and then he re um, hash recommends hash code recommends that um, you back up your partitions um, so you're gonna want to have um, ABD and um, your ROM and uh, the bootloader and re um, twerp and uh, gaps, uh, preferably in all in one file folder. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna back up our partitions. Uh, you're gonna open up a command prompt, which can be found in your um, accessories folder. then you just need to change the command prompt. I put all the files in a folder called ADB um, in C drive. So you just need to do a CD change ADB and then um, you're going to do your ADB shell command and um, because it's in recovery um, that's why it's going to have this um, special command here. Um, so then we need to you just copy and paste. This is the commands are doing the AD, um, the shell commands are going to um, put the file the images on the um, SD card. Um, and then we're going to pull them from the SD card to the computer. And um, see, it's copied of those last one okay now we want to exit out of the shell if, you, if I can spell exit correctly in the And we're going to go ahead and do our ADB pulls, and um, you just do those all in one one shot, I believe. Um, and then um, class, we need to enter. And then um, if you go back to your your folder that has your ADB, you can see that it's got the bin, uh, the boot zero, the boot one, and the boot loader, and the X loader, um, which were all the commands. That we just um, we did. Okay, so now we want to um, download the flash from um, the links above, and then we're going to apply the um, zip and recovery. So we can either do a do a push to um, the SD card, or we can. Um, can mount our SD card and open and this is the you can see these are our fi files that we um, we created and um, and pulled to the SD card and we could just could have just copied those um, that's right duty the way okay so our recovery is going to what the flash we want to have both of these in here on the SD card
in every big okay so they're both on the um, SD card of um, of the Kindle go on mount go back to home and we want to install um, the recovery just like a ROM and then uh, reboot. So we're going to install Autorex boot. Alright, you see we've got a new bootloader screen. And it says uh, press power to open boot menu. Alright, a little tricky trying to figure out this new recovery. Um, you just need to press it once, and this menu should come up, and it now uh, says continue. Um, reboot to recovery or advanced and uh, just select uh, reboot to recovery and it has a long press and it should be reboot to recovery alright and in advanced it probably had an option but um, we're gonna actually probably didn't need to change it <laughs> okay I selected um, bootloader mode in um, in twerp and I uh, got this new fast boot mode um, so now what we need to do is go back to our ADB uh, our command prompt here um, should still be pointing to your um, ADB folder and you just need to um, copy this command hit enter and sending recovery writing recovery that should be good. Um, now um, you can uh, do a command to reboot. Just do um, fast boot reboot. And enter. And um, we're back at the, uh, the screen again. Just tap the power button once and it's supposed to open the... Doesn't like the command. Okay, we're at step three. Um, I've rebooted um, after installing Twerp for the Otter X. Um, and I opened the bootloader menu pressing power okay we want two short presses of power to highlight advanced it actually is one and then we want to um, a long press for power to select advanced okay and now five short to highlight partition mode Amazon unless it's already Otter X um, mode is Amazon right now so and then we want to long press this option for your system okay so we're gonna long press on the partition mode and we want to confirm okay we want to um, Long press, set this option. Okay, so I want to confirm to set mode to RX. And then um, you want to navigate back, uh, navigate back to recovery. 
so then we're going to reboot recovery mode should open the, the new OtterX recovery um, by twerp and then we need to go in and wipe advanced um, check cache and swipe okay, so we're going Wipe, advanced, cache, swipe. This is successful. We want to um, reboot recovery back home, uh, reboot, recovery, and we're going to wait for it to reboot the twerp. Okay, now we need to wipe format data. And this probably will take a little bit. I'm going to pause. Screen, I forgot this screen, we need to type yes to continue. formatting data. Okay, our um, format is complete. Now we need to push the, uh, do an ABD push and push the, uh, push both those files to, um, with ABD, our, uh, our ROM and our uh, Gaps. Okay, the um, the ROM and the gaps um, were pushed to the SD card. Um, it just takes a, a few seconds because um, it, uh, it's kind of slow. Now we're back at the twerp screen here. We want you just want to select install, and you want to select your your um, ROM and add more zips. Select the um, Google Apps, and then um, go ahead and swipe to confirm. I um, had already installed it um, before restarting this video. So once that you can swipe to confirm, um, and then um, you just want to reboot. System and um, it'll reboot to um, CM11 um, OtterX version. And um, it took uh, several seconds for it to boot the first time. Um, this is the second boot for me. It probably won't take very long. No, uh, it's actually almost done booting. Alright, well I hope this video helps you um, to get your, uh, your Kindle on the uh, new OtterX project. Thanks for watching.